Um, I mean, the problem with is that film isn't good at conveying ideas. Um, books are not good at conveying feelings. Um, but finally, I found, a, I think, a solution, which is the, the film book. I was, I've always been trying to do this with multimedia, with video discs, with museums and so on. Somehow it's always unsatisfactory. But now that you can produce a book in a morning, as I did with this one, um, publish it cheaply on the web, um, and in this book is the, all the context for the film. It's got the shots, it's got how it was filmed, it's got the diary entry, uh, it's got a photograph from the film. On the electronic version, you'll be able to click and go to the film. So basically, if you want to know about more about what's going on in the film or the context or whatever, you have the book. But you also, on the, the web, have all the films. So you can, and this, this is a revolution of the last year. This, this publishing system is only a year old, and the, and the advanced archives in which you can keep. And of course, talking about delivery, it's a revolution which is anticipating the next revolution, which is the delivery systems will get better and better, broadband will get better, satellite phone, um, and um, small things on which you can watch films and download apps, etc. So basically, after a century and a half, nearly, it's now possible to make intellectual films or films that really integrate with writing.